Hey guys, Jafar here. There are three types of quarries, stone, sulfur, and high quality metal. You can locate these quarries by opening a map and finding the one you want to visit. One interesting feature of the stone quarry is that it not only provides stone, but also metal ore. To use the quarries, you'll need diesel barrels as fuel. These can be found at many monuments in the game. I have a dedicated guide available to show you all the locations. Once you have the diesel barrels, walk up to the fuel tank on the ground and place them inside. Then climb up to the engine and start it up. The resources will be deposited into the large bucket at the front of the quarry. Each quarry will consume one diesel barrel every 2 minutes and 10 seconds. Therefore, here's how long you can operate the quarry for, up to 10 diesel barrels. Now let's examine the yields for the stone slash metal quarry. On average, you can expect to get 1000 metal ore and 5000 stone per diesel barrel. By looking at the yield for up to 10 barrels, we can calculate the expected amount of stone and metal ore that can be obtained. If you're working with a time constraint, here's the stone and metal collected for one barrel over time. If you'd like to convert the stone to useful items, here's the time it would take to collect. The sulfur quarry provides 1000 sulfur ore per diesel barrel. By looking at the yield for up to 10 barrels, we can calculate the expected amount of sulfur that can be obtained. If you're working with a time constraint, here's the sulfur collected for one barrel over time. And here's the time it would take to collect the necessary amount of resources to eventually craft these items. Like four satchels, sufficient to destroy a sheet metal door. Finally, the high quality metal quarry produces 50 high quality metal per diesel barrel. By looking at the yield for up to 10 barrels, we can calculate the expected amount of high quality metal that can be obtained. If you're working with a time constraint, here's the high quality metal collected for one barrel over time. Now, to convert that high quality metal into items, here's the time it would take to collect. Unlike before, it's no longer possible to fully enclose a quarry, making it less of a passive resource gathering spot and more of an event. If you want to claim a quarry, I'd recommend building a base near the road in front of it. Then use tool cupboards to block other players from building in the area. Surround the quarry with wooden compound walls, leaving only the road as the entry point. Finally, place turrets and traps around the area to make it as difficult as possible for other players to enter. For the best defense, avoid placing turrets in locations where the enemy can easily see it standing back. Otherwise, they can shoot it out with a bow, or just place garage doors on it. This is the closest you can get to having complete ownership and passive resource collection at a quarry. You may wonder whether it's more efficient to use diesel barrels of the quarries, or the giant excavator monument. The quarries offer a safer option with the potential for ownership, but have lower yields and no surrounding loot. On the other hand, the excavator provides a much higher yield and surrounding loot, but is riskier due to roaming scientists, all players on the server being alerted to its use, and it is practically unownable. Therefore, quarries may be a better choice for smaller groups or solo players looking for a guaranteed and safer return, while the excavator is better suited for larger groups who can defend the resources from other players. To compare the yields of the excavator to the quarries, we can compare the yield per number of barrels for stone, metal, sulfur, and high quality metal. If used effectively, I believe quarries can be very beneficial. One good strategy is to collect diesel barrels on your regular resource runs and looting trips. When you return home with your loot, deposit it and put the diesel barrels into the quarry to start generating additional resources. If you have someone guarding the machine or a friend nearby, you can then go back out and continue farming while it works to earn you guaranteed profit. Keep in mind that not all resource runs will be successful and you'll occasionally lose a stack of resources. However, the income from the quarry can help compensate for this and more. In addition to the quarries found throughout the world, there are also pump jacks that operate in a similar way to gather resources. These can be found at two specific locations, the power plant 
and the train yard. Therefore, you'll be unable to build anything around them, completely exposing you to other players. To use a pump jack, climb up to the fuel tanks and insert your diesel barrels. Then turn on the engine to start gathering. Low grade fuel and crude oil will be dumped in the red barrel at the front. All pump jacks are identical and will produce 60 crude oil and 170 low grade fuel per diesel barrel, taking 2 minutes and 10 seconds. To turn crude oil into usable low grade fuel, you must process it within an oil refinery using wood. Oil refineries can be found at various locations, including the harbours, airfield, power plant, water treatment, dome, launch site, outpost, sewer branch, and train yard. One diesel barrel will yield 60 crude oil, which can be converted into 180 low grade fuel. In total, you'll get 350 low grade fuel per diesel barrel at the pump jack. By looking at up to 10 diesel barrels, we can calculate the expected amount of low grade fuel after cooking the crude oil. Here's the time it will take to collect the necessary amount of resources to eventually craft these items. Compared to the quarries, pump jacks don't offer quite the same delight. One barrel at a pump jack will yield 350 low grade fuel after 2 minutes and 10 seconds. But hitting a few oil barrels at the dome can yield 532 low grade fuel in around a minute without using any diesel barrels. In my opinion, it may be more worthwhile to use your diesel barrels at the quarry or excavator and gather oil barrels for your low grade fuel needs. And that's it. Thanks guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.